Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be celebrating their first Valentine's Day as a married couple in a little over two weeks. Except, they won't actually be celebrating together. Last year, Harry and Meghan are thought to have spent Valentine's Day together in Scotland after they had an official engagement in Edinburgh on the 13th. But this year it'll be different. Work commitments mean Prince Harry will be out of the country on February 14, leaving Meg's diary open for a Galantini's night with her pals instead. Soho Farmhouse, anyone? Indicating royal duties wait for no one, Kensington Palace announced this week that on V-Day, Prince Harry will be visiting Norway. As part of his role of Captain General of the Royal Marines, Harry will be in Norway's Bardafoss to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Exercise Clockwork Operation, which saw helicopters operating in the Arctic Circle for the first time. So yeah, he'll need to wrap up warm. But this won't be the first time Harry has been absent on an important occasion since marrying Meghan back in May last year. In November, the Duke missed his six-month wedding anniversary, uh, I celebrate my half-birthday if I can get away with it. So don't you tell me six months of marriage isn't worth making a song and dance about, because he was out of the country on a work trip again. Harry was invited to Zambia by the Foreign Office on that occasion, to attend an event commemorating Zambian World War I and World War II veterans among other things. Pretty important and meaningful stuff, so we're sure Meghan didn't have an issue. And let's face it, with a baby on the way. Harry is probably trying to cram in all his foreign engagements prior to his child's birth. So the couple can kick back with some candles and one of M&S2 dine for £20 deals when he gets back.